For more on this Giving Tuesday in our Eye on Money, CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger joins us with some tips on how you can help, plus how to make sure your money goes to the people you want to help. Jill, good morning. Welcome. So the, the, the donation rules have changed in this year of the pandemic. How exactly have they changed? There was a great provision. It's tucked into the CARES Act from the springtime, which actually allows more taxpayers to do well, give money, but also get a tax benefit. It used to be before the pandemic, you had to be an itemizer of deductions in order to get a tax benefit from giving. Now with this provision, any taxpayer can get up to $300 deduction from their taxes by giving to a qualified charity. So this is really good news. Of course, many people in need, we just heard that story. So more than ever, 300 bucks is certainly within many people's reach. It's usually for the tax, it's for a tax return total. So if you file jointly, you'll get $300. And be clear that that money is needed. Jill, the IRS is warning, though, that, that COVID charity scams are on the rise right now. How do you protect yourself against those? The most prevalent and pernicious of these scams is a text message that appears to be coming from the IRS itself. It's not, obviously, but what happens is say so you get a message and it says, hey, Anthony, do you want to get that $1,200 stimulus check? Send us your bank information. Well, that's a big red flag, everyone. Just know the IRS will never send an unsolicited text. They will not send an unsolicited email. They will not give you a call where they're feeling, where you feel pressure to pay something. If you are worried and you have contact with an organization, get the employee identification number, run it through the irs.gov search tool to make sure it's a legitimate charity. All right, Jill, how can you find out if your donation actually goes to the charity you intend, uh, intend for the, to its cause, I should say, and, and not somewhere else. There are a number of resources. The Better Business Bureau has this Wise Giving Alliance. There's Cha Charity Navigator, Charity Watch, Give Well. What you can see in these organizations is how much of your money goes to the cause, what goes to the overhead. Good rule of thumb in general is to say about 75% should go to the cause rather than perhaps a big infrastructure. So check it out. And you can also read comments about what other people think of those charities. All right, Jill Schlesinger on this Giving Tuesday. Thanks, Jill.